Introduce yourself to us in two minutes. Please cover the following. What is your relationship to UCFSD and the school board? What is the role of a school board director and why are you the person for this job? What are your priorities? How much time do you plan to commit to this role? And what official endorsements do you have if any? Good evening, I want to echo the thank yous to the PTO for the organization of this event. My name is Isabel Rollmike and it's an honor to be here before you today. My ties to UCFSD run deep. As a mother and aunt of six children in this district from preschool to middle school, and with a husband who is a K-12 UCFSD alumni, our connection spans over three decades in this district. Ensuring excellence here isn't merely a goal of mine, it's personal. The role of a school director is multifaceted, setting vital policies, managing budgets, and overseeing hiring and curricular choices. I collaborate with teachers and administrators in my role as an educator and director with the Delaware Valley Science Fairs, working diligently to enhance our science programs. My PhD in chemical biology and my MBA have armed me with the academic expertise and business savvy to tackle our challenges in the school district from multiple angles. My priorities are clear, upholding our tradition of academic excellence, ex exercising fiscal prudence, aiming to curb the near 4 to 5% increases in taxes, and enhancing participation and board transparency. I'm fully committed to this duty. I will be present at every board meeting, curriculum instruction and technology and work section. I will also put in the necessary time weekly to stay informed and proactive. Uh, recent issues like the PA systems and the water system at Chatsford demonstrate the necessity of school board directors to make themselves available to go in person to visit the issues and to see them for their own eyes. Regarding endorsements, while I'm honored to have the backing of the Republican Party and young Republicans in our area, I declined all other endorsements and accepted no additional financial support. My aim is a board free of outside influence serving our children and community. I'm dedicated to UCFSD, I'll prioritize our children's education, remain financially watchful, and I will also advocate to include our community every step of the way. Thank you for considering me as a member for your school board. <laughs> Introduce yourself to us in two minutes. Please cover the following. What is your relationship to UCFSD and the school board? What is the role of a school board director and why are you the person for this job? What are your priorities? How much time do you plan to commit to this role? And what official endorsements do you have if any? Good evening, everybody. I have the privilege to get us all started here. Um, thank you for taking time to come out and talk to all of us. Uh, and thank you to the PTO of Adam and the my school for organizing this event. Um, for all of you who don't know me, I'm Rashia P. I have the privilege of serving as a board and a director for Region A uh, for the East and West Marlboro townships. I've been a resident of East Marlboro for 22 years. Um, it, I think, is the best place to raise a family, and I hope you all agree. I'm a broad brother of three kids. Um, all of them went through the Unionville Chatsworth School District, elementary school, middle school, and high school. Um, my son was graduated in 2012 and 2018, um, and my daughter is still in the high school. She's a junior, and I'm not sure. Yeah, I think she's here. Um, I'm a proud Army mom. My middle son is currently serving as a first Duke in stationed in Washington State. And through our children, we have had the experience to really figure out what this district offers across the academics, student activities. And there's no doubt in my mind that my kid's success is rooted in UC UCSD. Um, I'm sure you all share that sentiment with me too. Professionally, I'm a chemical engineer, um, and um, both me and my husband got that degree, and we both hold PhDs from Georgia Tech. Uh, so you could say science is our family's foundation. I had 30 years at DuPont in various um, routes, and in about 2016, I started my own company, so I'm the CEO of my own company. When I see the, I hope I've fixed, that's 50 seconds for, huh? Okay, whoa, all right, I'm just gonna invite you. Basically, but the main thing that I wanna say is that I have had the luxury to be there and really serve because I'd wanna give back to the community. 
that is the main thing. And that's the only reason I went in 2019 and I'm done with it. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. It's important that you stay up to date on what your school director candidates are sharing about why they want to represent you on your school board. I also want to thank again our school's PTOs for putting this opportunity together for us to share our goals and ideas about our schools with the community. And thank you to the other school directors who took the time on Thursday night to share their ambitions for our school district. Again, I'm running because I want to ensure this tradition of academic excellence remains in our schools that we remain financially watchful and that we're balancing our budget and that at every step of the way, we're reaching out, we're being proactive and we're engaging with our parents and our communities. Thanks again. I'm Isabel Romine. Please vote for me on November 7th. I'm Isabel Romine and I approve this message.